What's up cutie? So here is finally an updated daily makeup tutorial that many of you cuties ask for and all of the products that I'll be using in this tutorial are from an online website called 11th Street. 11th Street is actually a very popular open market platform in Korea similar to Amazon and our families including us love shopping groceries, beauty products, household goods and so much more. If you go to the bottom of the website, they also show you what's trendy now in Korea and guess what guys, they literally have a section where you can find all EXO's goods like EXO's t-shirts, name tags, postcards and so much more. Very recently, 11th Street finally launched 11th Street Global with an English version for customers worldwide and now you guys can also access 11th Street with a click of a mouse. Also, keep in mind that 11th Street not only offers shipping discount coupons and membership benefits, but signing up process is also very easy so make sure to check them out. Okay, enough with the chit chat and let's jump into the tutorial. Chop chop! First, this is our must-do beauty routine every morning which is doing a sheet mask and today we're going to do these sheet masks called dual rub mask from Cynic to hydrate my skin for a better foundation application. Unlike the regular sheet mask where the sheets are already soaked in a serum inside the packet, for this one the cream pack is sealed in a separate bottle located at the top right corner of the package. Also usually sheet masks are made out of fabrics but for this one it's a very jelly-like soft and rubbery material that has this awesome cooling effect. So once you apply the cream pack all over your face, place a rubber mask on top and leave it for roughly 20 to 30 minutes and your face is hydrated and calmed down ready for the makeup. Next, after the rubber mask, I'm applying this Centella 100 all-in-one ampoule that gives toner, lotion, and essence effects all at once. This one comes in 300ml that will last you up to 100 days and it's a great product to hydrate and protect your skin from outdoor harsh weathers and pollutions. And of course, you can never forget about applying sun cream and for me, I'm using this sun moisturizer from Nine Wishes. It's not oily at all and super hydrating and love how it slightly brightens up my complexion after the use. Next, I'm using this full coverage ample intense foundation from Innisfree in shade number 21 and I felt like the color was a bit lighter than the usual shade that I use so we highly recommend getting one shade darker than your normal shade. One trick that I love using when applying foundation, especially during colder season, is to mix with an ample to add hydration and avoid ending up with cakey finish look. For the concealer, I'm using this 2 Kufor Schools Intonaco Master in shade number 1 and by far this is one of the most velvety concealer that I've ever used in my life. Apply generous amount under your eye and to conceal any redness or hyperpigmentation. Tap 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 tap. For all the makeup brushes that I'm about to use, I'm going to use this awesome gold colored Pony Effects mini makeup brush set. I heard so many great reviews about Tuku for School Art Class by Rod and Shade in Contour and using the Pony's powder brush, I'm going to use the second and the third color for contouring my cheekbone and hairlines. I love how the colors aren't too pigmented and very natural, neither being too dark nor light and it's not powdery at all and applies very smoothly. Next, using the Pony's blending brush, I'm going to use the first and the second shading colors for contouring my nose bridge and my eye sockets. Just to be more presentable, let me throw on some hats. Chez Louis. Now let's draw those eyebrows. For the eyebrows, I'm using this natural slim fit auto eyebrow from Eclipse in shade number 1 and look how thin the pencil is. With such thinner applicator, it was so easier to draw accurate shape for my eyebrows and filling in those gaps. And I don't think I can ever go back using thick eyebrow pencils. Eyebrows are sisters, not twins. To slightly line up the colors of my eyebrow, I'm going to use this Innisfree Skinny Brow Mascara in shade number 4 and what I like to do before applying them is to get rid of any excess mascara on a tissue paper to avoid creating clumps on my eyebrows. For the eye makeup, first I'm using this Cleo's S15 B Always color all over my eyelid using my fingertips. It has this shimmery sandstone color that works great as a base color. Then using Innisfree's My Eyeshadow Matte shade number 30, I'm using the Pony's Medium Eyeshadow Brush to apply this dried rose color just above the eyelid and at the outer V as well as at the under the eye. And of course repeat the exact same steps for the other eye. 
Lastly, I'm using Mono Eyes in M18 which has this warm brown color at the outer V and inner V to give more depth and definition to my eye. Oh by the way, I'm using the smallest brush in Pony FX mini makeup brush set. Now using the blending brush, blend any harsh lines. Next, using Mamone's Creamy Eye Color Balm in shade number 2, I'm going to first melt the product on my fingertip and then apply directly onto the center of my eyelid. This step will make your eye really pop like a doll. We'll also use it at the underwater line and at the inner tear duct. Next, draw a cat eye line using Innisfree's Always New Auto Liner in the darkest shade and I like how the lines are much smoother and natural than the brush eyeliner. Don't forget the inner tear duct. Before applying the mascara, let's even out those lashes using the eyelash comb brush number 502 from Misha. And then using the Face Shop 2-in-1 curling mascara, I'm going to first use the thinner brush to apply mascara on my bottom lashes and then the thicker brush for the upper lashes. It's so convenient to have two differently sized brushes in one container and I don't know how they did it but I'm loving it. Use the comb brush once more after the mascara just in case there are some clumps. For the blush, I'm using this Velvet Cheek from Peripera in shade number 6 and I can't stress enough how velvety this blush is. Apply at the apples of your cheek with a big smile. Before applying any lipstick, I'm first going to use this J. Estina's lip balm to hydrate my lips and then I'm going to apply this Cleo's Matte Matte Lipstick in shade number 5. And despite being a matte, it's not too dry and it has this chocolatey scent that smells so good. I like to first apply at the inner of my lips and then use the tip of my fingers to blend the colors out. It's called Mouse Anus Lips Trick guys. Last but not least, for the highlight, I'm using Moonlight Pale Pink Highlight in Hera's Blusher Duo Kit. Apply at the bridge and tip of your nose as well as at the highest part of your cheekbone while thinking of unicorns. So that's it for our daily makeup routine and all the links to the products that we use in this video will be listed in the description box below so make sure to check it out and hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye!